Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Uh, for some time now I've been trying to find a reasonable cheap USB microphone for us to use. And I found one. Razer Siren Mini version 3. Like I mentioned, we were looking for reasonable cheap microphone with good sound quality and USB connection. So we found out that this Razer Siren version 3 should be the one for us. And hopefully I was right. Hopefully, hopefully internet was right because I did a lot of readings and uh, sound quality should be good. And that was the main thing that we were looking for. Hmm. We are looking for, of course. There were different colors. I'm surprised you didn't pick the pink one. <laughs> I, I was going to take the pink one, but then I thought that we can make more professional videos with the black one instead of the pink. There is also a white also model is available for this white color, hmm. but we went with the black. I was also studying more about the more expensive microphone. So when you go, the next price step is roughly about 100 euros. And when you go there, you will get things like a uh, volume control knob or gain control knob, something like those. But we can do those other way around, so we don't really have any need for those. And since we didn't need them, we went. I went for the cheap one. And we do have at least one of those uh, expensive, more expensive ones. And the sound quality is not that great on them. Yeah. So it doesn't, you know, the price doesn't tell you everything. True, true. And, and also another thing that this doesn't have, that some of the more e expensive microphones have, that this only has one single pickup pattern. So others have maybe usually four different pickup patterns for the no noise. The Super Cardio should only pick the noise that is coming next to the microphone and not anything else in the room. So we have to test that later on. Mm -hmm. But does it take a direct, direct, bleh, directly from uh, in front of it, or does it matter which di direction you're coming from? Uh, I don't think that the direction matters. It's picking up from everywhere mm -hmm. around the microphone. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That that's something that in the, in more expensive microphones you can define that it is mm -hmm. only taking the sound coming directly from you, mm -hmm. or only from and back, nothing from the sides, or just all around. Those are the things that this is missing. Mm, but it's not it's not needed that much. Mm, yeah, true, true. This uh, this should work as plug and plug and play. So only connect this to PC with USB and it should be good to go. Uh, there should also be a built-in shock absorber. So if you physically flip the microphone over or something like that, it should somehow prevent those noises. Maybe, who knows? Mm. Let's let's see. I don't know. Let's open it up and see. Yeah. USB A to USB C cable. I don't know. Uh, 70, 80 centimeters. Mm. That stand for the mic. How small is it? <laughs> Well, the mic itself, it's not that big. It's cute. Yeah, like <laughs> double X. Uh, and then the base unit for it. Oh, it's it's tilting. Mm. So when you're sitting in front of it, you can adjust at least a little bit about where it's picking up. Mm. But uh, that's it. There's nothing more. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of a. I'm just um, trying to find out about the shock absorber. Okay, the the base here is memory foam hard, and well, that maybe that will prevent the noises little when you're tilting it over. But uh, no. I yeah. don't think so. Yeah. Uh, hold on, I will show you what I think is a true shock absorber. 
and this is the true shock absorber so this should kind of a remove any noise that comes when you something well a little bit more gentlier than i am now doing but you mm -hmm. get the idea yeah. hopefully <laughs> Now, as an audio expert and podcaster, I'm wondering if it has an uh, inbuilt um, pop filter or anything like that. Uh, you mean the razor? Yeah, a razor one. 14 mm concerter mic, super cardio pickup pattern, tapti mute sensor. Mm. You can customize it with the razor software. We will check that later on. Mm. But Nothing more, at least on the package. Okay, they would advertise it, I think. Most likely, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I don't, I don't, I don't think that it has a lot. Mm. But uh, that's about it from the unboxing. I will connect it and play some tunes, and you can decide what the sound quality is. So we will be changing the microphone to this now. Okay, now my voice is coming from the Saren microphone. This here is the main window of the Razer Synapse software. On the top here you can change what the only button on, on the microphone does. The most important thing that you need to change on the microphone depending on where and how you use the microphone is the gain. So basically this defines from how wide area the microphone picks up your voice and the voices surrounding you. I tested this for a while now and setting the gain to 30 is quite okay for me. Uh, if I raise it more, it will most likely pick up the noise from the PC, which is next to me. You can also change the sampling rate here. In most cases, the 48 or the 96 will serve you just fine. And from the streamer mixer side, you can change things like how much of your own voice you hear while recording and you can change more about the input and output of the audio streams. We've been using the microphone now for a few weeks and I have to say that the audio quality is as good as we expected it to be. So yes, I would really recommend this. However, this is not for everyone. I've noticed that uh, while gaming or typing, it's nearly impossible to filter out the keyboard sounds if you have a small desk like mine. So when the microphone is here in front and it's kind of a 10 or 15 centimeters away from the keyboard or the mice, you will most likely hear these all the time. But there is also a solution for this. This here is a standard arm which will help you move the microphone away from your keyboard or other things that are making sounds in your table. Okay, it's done. No, the microphone is about five centimeters away from my mouth, so I can change the gain from the software be lower, so the mic won't pick up noise that is coming from my table down here. So that way it won't pick up the noises from keyboards or mice or something like that. That's about it, guys. Thanks again for watching. See you all later.